So let's take a look at our recursive add method. We don't need to return anything. And we're going to accept two nodes, one node E is the parent position that we're thinking about adding to. And the second node is the element that we're going to add. So that's our new node. So what we need to check is whether the new node that we're adding, whether the object in there is greater than or less than the object that we already have. So let's do that test. So if, here's our comparable again, comparable E, new node, dot data, compared to And we're comparing it to our parent node dot data. And if that is greater than zero, if it's greater than zero, it means that new node dot data is bigger than parent dot data. And so we're going to add it to the right hand side of the tree. Okay? So if it's greater than zero, then we add it to the right hand side. So if our parent node's right side is null, that's where we're going to put the new node. So if parent dot right is null, that's where we're going to put our new node. Okay? Then parent dot right is equal to new node. Now we've got this pointer from parent.write pointing to our new node. Current size gets incremented. And we're good. If parent.write is not null, then what we need to do is go back to our recursive method and check and see whether parent.write is bigger or smaller than the thing we're trying to add. And then we go back through that system again. So otherwise, add parent.write new node. If our comparable is not true. That means that we're going to add to the left-hand side. So if the object is smaller or equal to parent, we're going to add it to the left-hand side of the tree. And we're going to do exactly the same thing. So we're going to say if parent.left is equal to null, parent.left equals new node, current size plus plus. Otherwise, add parent.left new node. And so that code is going to go right here. Okay, we've added to our tree. And what's the rule about AVL trees? Remember that the difference in height can't be more than one. After we add, now we need to call check balance. And so we're going to call our check balance method, and we're going to call it our new node. And our check balance method will start at new node and go up the tree and set everything, make sure that everything is correct. I just realized that I have missed one critical piece right here. What did I miss? I set parent.write equal to new node. But what I didn't do is I didn't set new node's parent to our current node. So here we need to say new node dot parent is equal to parent. 
Now we've got both our, our parent.write pointing to our new node, and from new node, we can go back to the parent. When the tree's constructed, we're going to have two different nodes. The left node and the right node are both going to point to the same parent. The parent's left obviously points to the left node, and the parent's right to the right node. 